Hey everyone, it's Sam again. Um, right now I'm in my fourth week of the sophomore semester. I wanna, it is in the morning, um, which is different for me. I usually record at the end of the day, but I know I won't have any motivation to record this after, um, at the end of the day after I get home. Um, we are in class eight to five all week this week. Um, so it's been a really, really long and mentally draining week. Uh, we don't have a test today, which is why I can record this. Um, last semester, in freshman semester, we had 23 tests, I believe it was. Um, and um, it felt like for most of the semester, we were having one every Monday and Friday, but toward the end, we only had one a week for a couple weeks. Um, but we only have 19 tests in the sophomore semester and we have a lot less um, blocks of instruction. So we actually have a lot of free time. After this week of eight to five, I think we only have two or three days the rest of the semester. So the next 12 weeks of eight to five. So sophomore semester is definitely where you get the most free time. Um, it is kind of a blessing and a curse because you get plenty of time to study um, for your exams, which you have at least two classes uh, that only have two exams. So if you fail one, then like you really have to make sure you do good on the other to pass um, the course. So um, we've had three exams so far and I'm praising God every time I pass one. Um, so sometimes you think you don't know it, but you know it. Um, if I've definitely learned if I choose an answer, I'm choosing it for a reason. Even if I think I'm wrong, I have to quit second guessing myself because pretty much every time I do, I switch my answer to a wrong answer. So, um, I definitely, you definitely have to have that confidence in yourself, even if you think like you've not memorized the 300 slides you've looked at for that test. Um, you've definitely, you definitely know more than you think. And then even though you also think that you brain dump after every test, you retain more than you think. Because um, when it comes up in a next class or, um, stuff that I thought I brain dumped in freshman semester is being repeated in this semester. So it all builds on each other. I will say freshman semester is probably harder than sophomore. I can't speak for other semesters, um, but I have talked to juniors and seniors that have also said freshman semester is the worst. Um, it's a lot of um, mostly memorization, whereas sophomore semester, we're getting into the con concepts. However, the tests are a little bit harder because it's not just a uh, recall on all the test questions anymore. Um, you're getting more second and third order questions. So you have to actually piece things together in your mind. So um, personally, when I'm studying now, I try to piece things together. If I see something mentioned, in one lecture, I'll say, oh, I remember that from another lecture, and I'll go back. Um, your teachers also expect you to have a full grasp of medical terminology, so Google has been my best friend. I'm not, I don't have a medical background, so I'm often Googling things. One of our teachers was uh, nice enough to share some glossaries from some medical test books, um, and then uh, everything that you learned in freshman semester, you are expected to know. Um, but I will say it hasn't given me a problem yet and I feel like my memory is not the greatest. So um, don't be too concerned with it at all. Um, we do have weeks coming up where we um, only have, um, I think we have a couple weeks of like till three on most days. And then we have Thanksgiving week, we have no classes for just the sophomores, um, which could change if they decide to drop in more lectures. But um, there's also a week, I think we only come in for like one or two classes each day, like one class a day, and then one day is like two classes or something. Um, our We're definitely getting spoiled with free time, um, but we're all, 
also seeing the impending doom of junior semester because um, we've seen their schedule and it does, it looks the very opposite of ours. <laughs> so, um, like I said at the beginning, we're four weeks into the semester, so that's a quarter of the way. Um, the freshman semester seemed to drag as well, but sophomore semester is, I think it's because you, you've sat through that 16 weeks once in this program then it seems to go by quicker. So this has been a little bit of a long week, but I'm excited that we're already a quarter of the way through the semester. So um, still all the teachers, they just wanna help you. They just wanna be there for you. Um, you can call them, text them, email them, however they prefer. Um, and most of our teachers right now, currently do a review the lecture before the test or some of them will pop in during lunch and answer questions and stuff like that. So um, we're definitely benefited from a lot of good instructors here in the program. Um, uh, we also have PA day coming up, so that's exciting. It is um, mandatory fun for, for everyone, but it's in our schedule, so during regular school hours, so Personally, I'm not upset about it. I'm hoping to get people excited about it, but some people aren't excited. I think nobody likes the idea of mandatory fun, but we are in the army, so <laughs> it's inevitable. I don't think I have much else to say. I think we are wearing our ASUs this month. Or is it? it actually, it might be next month I'm not sure but I know either this month or next month or both that we're wearing them because um, I overheard a conversation the other day so um, we did not wear them in August so we've only worn them once since I've been here so it's pretty good in my opinion um, and then the first that's always the last Friday of the month and then the first Friday of the month is um, Fancy Fridays, but with our iPad polo, if you've bought an iPad polo, and then um, some khakis. So um, that's a blessing from the PD. He doesn't obviously have to allow that for us. So, um, and then there's still volunteer opportunities. I'm going to one tomorrow. Um, so, Make sure to get involved with iPass when you get here. Uh, it's uh, $20, but you also get a free shirt, or I believe it's going up, up to 25 because prices of everything else have went up. So, but you get a free shirt, so, and the shirts are usually 25, so it basically just pays for itself. Um, so when you get here, make sure you get involved in iPass. Um, also, Bible study is pretty great. Um, if that's something you're interested in, we usually choose a book every month so this or every semester. This semester we're going through Hebrews. Um, sometimes you'll even have an instructor pop in and want to talk or just listen. Um, so it's pretty great seeing the personal sides of instructors in my opinion. Um, so I do send out a newsletter every month highlighting an instructor. and. It's gotten pretty good feedback and personally I love learning about people and like what makes, what motivates people or how to understand where they're coming from or um, what they get excited about kind of thing. I, this is a little bit of a shorter one because I don't have much else to say um, other than I'm tired. <laughs> but. Um, just continue, when you get here, just continue to see what works for you for studying. Continue to ask other people what works for them. Don't get in a box. So if you're a huge introvert like I am, sometimes you don't, you just wanna study by yourself, but you, for certain things at least, a study group will be very beneficial. We're lucky that a lot of people in our class and people who've come before us have made cahoots and quizlets and that sort of thing. So we, use those materials and share them among each other. Um, one thing I have seen in some other classes or heard at least in some other classes is not everybody is like looking out. Some people are, can be cutthroat and that sort of thing. 
trying to get the best grades, but I know in my class, everybody's super supportive. There's no reason to not be, because it's not like you're fighting for a position. Like, so we typically want everyone to be successful and everyone to do well. So um, find a study group that works for you, hop around to different study groups. Normally nobody cares. So, um, and then just, keep at it. It's a, it's a long 16 months, but it is what it is. I'm now less than 11 months till I'm back home, hopefully. Um, and if you guys have any questions, I'll leave my email in the description like I usually do, or you can leave a comment. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you in October.